Yo, what's going on? My name is Ruslan. I'm so glad you're here. I'm trying this new series. Y'all let me know if y'all like it. We're going to call it Freedom Fridays, right? I'm so grateful for all the different people that watch this channel. But I know and I have to be aware that a lot of believers in Jesus watch this channel. And I'm super grateful for you guys. But with that, this question keeps coming up over and over again and I thought it's been put to rest but if it hasn't we're just gonna dead the whole argument on if tattoos are a sin stay tuned Indy Jones back with a trendy flow I'm still trying to find my voice in this here scenario here we go Captain Obvious here I am a Christian, a disciple of Jesus, and I have tattoos, got a couple, and I'm planning on getting more. So just to let the cat out of the bag so you know exactly where I stand, that's obvious. And recently, I've been having people creep into my comments section, into my DMs, asking me this question, which I thought had been put to rest like 15 years ago when I first got saved. And I understand that people come from all different walks of life. I don't even know where you're watching this from. You might be watching this in a country where being a Christian or a disciple of Jesus is way more conservative. Maybe you're watching this in the Bible Belt where culture is a little different. I live in Southern California, San Marcos to be exact. I've been around Bible-believing, Holy Spirit-filled Christians since the beginning of my faith journey. I have all kinds of people that are close to me that have amazing tattoos to glorify God, to spark conversations with different kinds of people. And that's just been my norm growing up here in Southern California. I understand some of you guys may not be familiar. Some of y'all may come from more conservative backgrounds and that's all fine. And maybe you feel convicted in your heart about tattoos. That's cool too. Just don't use your personal conviction and use Bible verses out of context to project that on other people. For example, I don't drink alcohol. I come from a history of alcoholics. I choose not to drink alcohol. I'm real serious right now about my health and fitness and I just haven't had a desire to. I have friends that drink alcohol. They don't get drunk, but they drink alcohol. I don't hold my personal conviction on them. So let's unpack this tattoo thing, the verse that everybody goes to. The verse that everybody goes to, and that's Leviticus 19, 28. This is the verse that everybody says, but Leviticus 19, 28 says, maybe I should even get this tattooed. How funny would that be? <laughs> Leviticus 19, 28. Do not cut your bodies for the dead and do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am the Lord. Now, a little bit of context. This is written to the children of Israel. It's the law, the, I think the 613 commands. When we look at this, that's pretty clear, right? Do not have tattoos. But here's where people don't factor in culture, don't factor in context, who it was written to. Is it descriptive or is it prescriptive? Y'all ain't know I have my theology lingo down, right? This is what we gotta do. It's all you gotta do when you read this verse. That's all you gotta do. You wanna do something fun? Just scroll up to the verse right behind it. Huh, Leviticus 19:27. What does that say? Do not trim off the hair on your temples or trim your beards. Hmm, it's interesting. It's interesting that that says that right there. And then it's also interesting that there's a lot of modern day Jewish people that don't trim their beards because they take that verse literally. Now, let's, let's, just, let's just scroll up another verse. Why not, right? The verse right before that, Leviticus 19.26 says, do not eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. And then it says, do not practice fortune telling or witchcraft, right? Obviously we don't fortune telling or witchcraft. Do not eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. Hmm, so have you ever had a steak or a burger that was a, a little pink on the inside? Have you ever had a medium, medium rare steak? I like my steak medium rare. Does that mean that I'm in sin? So, Here's the deal. You could do your own studies on how those verses impacted people at a specific time in a specific place for a specific purpose. But if you've ever had a medium rare steak or a medium burger and you plan on having another one, and if you've ever shaved the sides of your beard, or if you've ever had shrimp or a whole bunch of other laws and commands, I don't wanna hear a beep from you about tattoos. If you don't wanna get tattoos, that's fine, but don't, 
dare question me or anybody else about why they have tattoos or is it a sin or whatever. If you want to find out if tattoos are a sin, there's a great resource. It's called gotquestions.org. You could just Google it. You could do your own studies. But please stop coming at people on social media acting like the Instagram accountability patrol. That's not who you are. I was just with my buddy Daniel. Uh, I'll put the, the vlog up. Daniel is a pastor in Gilbert, Arizona. I went out there to do a show with him. Amazing dude. Daniel has tattoos sleeved up all the way across his body, everywhere. One of the most Jesus-loving, Holy Spirit-filled Christians, pastors, speakers, anointed people that I know, and he has tattoos. So miss me with that religion. Miss me with that. Just that bondage. It's, it's Freedom Friday, guys. So be free, man. Know that there's freedom in Jesus if you are a disciple of Jesus. And it's not about the exterior that God looks at your heart. Full transparency, there was a time where I didn't have release to go get tattoos. And it was mainly because of a financial limitation. I was getting out of debt. I was saving up our emergency fund. I had just had a newborn baby, and so I didn't feel comfortable spending extra money to get tattoos. I'm in a bit of a different season now, so I've been getting tattoos. I'm gonna get more tattoos. Stop asking dumb questions. Like, read your, read your Bibles, man. Like, if you're a disciple of Jesus, like, know the scriptures. Know the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Know that Jesus came to fulfill the law. Like, yeah, like, we just gotta chill, man. I don't know. Look, in the comment section below, keep it cordial or we gonna wipe you out. We don't do the crazy comments on this section. This channel is small and intimate enough where I am petty enough to keep track of the comments. So make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What areas of, of bondage or freedom do you want to experience in? What other questions you have that you want me to tackle? Somebody asked me about addressing the issue of marijuana. I could go deeper on alcohol. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Freedom Friday, thumbs, likes up, turn on notification. And if y'all want to partner with this channel and support what we're doing at King's Dream ENT, join us on Patreon, y'all. Peace.